Uh, enable pangolin captain's mode, Monka Giga. How good is that? They here got nerfed quite a lot because they nerfed the ultimate cooldown. But I mean, sure, if it's if it proves to be a little bit too powerful, they'll nerf it. It's fun to see more heroes. Neutral creep stack bound increase. Yeah, this was a really good idea, but 50%. If you do the maths, I've done the maths. If you if you take a normal normal uh, camp, it's it generally you get like like 10 gold or 15 gold. It's not a lot. Not slightly more. It's, I still think maybe. Yeah. Clarity, amount of regeneration reduced. <laughs> Carry, so bait. You man. Heart, you just got a 5 plus strength. Not bad. Moon shard, attack speed increased by 10%. Wow. Very impressive. Nullifier speed decreased. That's so slow now. Refresh orb mana, regeneration increased to 3 to 5. That's a lot of more mana regeneration. Oh my god, it's so slow now. You say now. Lel. I'm not ready. Oh my god, strife. that's so much worse. All right, so a lot more mana regeneration. Who buys who buys refresher a lot? Oh, Tonic increased by 0.5 seconds. Again. Break duration increased, decreased by one second. Bristle back. Silver cooldown uh, reduced. Dance is that a buff it? That's really a buff, I would say. Should I we consider overall a buff? Because lower cooldown is really significant. 22 seconds. Who cares about the break? If you use this on Tide or uh, any hero, you kill them within 4 seconds. It doesn't really matter that much that it's 5 to 4. Skull Basher duration increased. Basher is back, boys. Range Basher is back. Abyssal Blade. Bash duration increased. The same here, okay. Spirit Vessel getting nerfed, I guess. Uh, wait, a buff? Enemy attack. current health based damage changed from 3% direct HP modification to 4.5? That's a 50% increase! Wait, what? Did I read it wrong? Enemy current health base damage change from 3% direct HP. Wait, direct HP modification? Wait, that's. So that's a nerf against Hood and stuff. There's magic resistance, right? Right! AM. Mana void damage increased! Better early level? Sure. It's pretty underwhelming early. It's pretty uh, bad and underwhelming early level, so. More poke champ plays for AM. Arc Warden Flux. Flux cooldown reduced. Strength rises from within. This spell is very annoying. Arc Warden love. More Arc Warden. Magnetic field AoE increase. Hyper dance game. Still works on towers. Super annoying. Axe. Axe buff. He deserves it. Battle hunger duration increased by two. That's two more seconds. That's 20%. I've done the maps. This is a very good spell, Battle Hunger, but Bound Hunter Shuriken Toss mana cost increased. So his early ganking potential is nerfed. Fairly significantly because you spam invis with Bound all the time, which costs mana. And if you use one toss, you're out of mana. You're out of mana. Bloodseeker's third Bloodseeker. Thirst lingered bonus ration doubled. So if you kill someone, you still have the speed from them being low. For four seconds, that's pretty big. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here comes the nerf for Chen. Whoa, Holy Persuasion can no longer target non player allied creeps. Non player allied creeps. All right, so you can't counter Enchantress or Dominator. Dominator nerf, you can't take uh, Beastmaster creeps anymore. No Siege catapults. What are you talking about? Oh, uh, is it a non player allied creeps? Oh, I'm reading it wrong. Oh, allied, non-play allied creeps. All right, all right. Now yeah, you can't send people back anymore. Creeps back. I got it. I got it. That's a pretty big nerf. Because the way you play Chen was you, you helped off lane or middle, but usually off lane. Then the off lane got a decent sword from it, and then Chen comes there and you destroy the lane. Clinks buff. Clinks in 2018. Omega lol. Crystal maiden base damage increased by three. Jesus. All right, now we're talking. Arcane Aura self mana region increased even more on early levels. Oh, Dark Seer Vacuum, please lower the cooldown. If he lowers the cooldown, that'd be comical, please. AoE, yeah, I assumed it was. AoE, uh, better, way better early levels. Way better. If you ever played Dark Seer, level one and two uh, vacuum was unbelievably bad. It was basically a cancel TP spell. Another vacuum? Cool on rescale? 
What? 60, 50, 40, 30? 60 se This spell used to be 16 second cooldown or something. Don't worry, there's another buff though. 60 second. Alright. Yeah, this, there, here comes a big buff. There's gonna be a big buff. Big buff coming here. The slow... This slows. No, 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 no. No, no, it's gonna be... The duration is longer. By 0.1 second, isn't it? Oh, uh, cast range. Alright, cast range increase. That's pretty significant. Well, it's not significant, but it's nice. Alright, another vacuum pull duration increase. Here we go, 0.1 more. I knew it. 0.1 more. It sounds for 0.1 more second now. So, so far we got 2 seconds less cast time. We're talking about max level now. Also, uh, cast range increase by 100. It lasts for 0.1 second longer. Damage. Vacuum damage rescaled. Oh, more damage. Alright. So, uh, a couple of small buffs. When you add them up, it becomes a decent buff. Not bad. Income illusion damage reduced by 100%. Alright, so they don't die instantly. They don't die instantly. Nice. Wall increase by 300. Alright, that's pretty... Well, how good is that? Does that even matter? Like, it's quite a lot longer now. It's a lot longer. Pretty good actually. There's a lot of fights where you could walk around it. Combine You're not walking around this in a team fight. Pretty good. That's a pretty big buff. Look how long it stands for now. Wow. Only 30 second cooldown as well. Dark will or terrorize. Oh, this is gonna get nerfed. How do we nerf it? Duration nerfed by one second. Cast time increase. All right. That's still a pretty big deal. This might seem small, but it basically will give people more time to react to BKB, to blink out of it. Dark Widow, Bedlam, cooldown increase. Ooh, 10 seconds later. Ah, it's not that big of a deal. Like, well, I don't know. I don't play the hero. Poison touch damage increase. DP spirit siphon, charge restored. Ooh, her laning face nerfed. Because normally when you ganked it before, it's like, oh, I, she's got two souls, boys, we're dead. If she uses it to harass the other mid laner, she won't have two ready, and now you gank her, you kill her. Mana cost increased for later, alright. Sure. Did mid one uh, max poison touch? Disruptor static zone no longer lingers on your hero. Ooh. <laughs> this is a pretty big nerf right there, boys. Test crystal maiden attack damage buff allele. Let's see if I make, understand. Static zone no longer lingers on your hero for 0.5 seconds after walking away from the AoE. It already ends immediately once the spell is over. Alright, so usually you walk out, but then it stays on you for. 0.5 seconds, it lingers on you. There's many times someone just barely walks out and he's gonna spam BKB, but you know, it's gonna linger. Pretty big nerf, pretty, pretty big nerf. Rolling thunder. It's like, boom, he uses it on me. Then I, oh, I can't use spells, instant out. Instantly when I get out. Disrupt the kinetic field cooldown increase on early levels. Uh, all right, so you will not be able to use it twice. Draw ranger buff, 40%. Well, let me do the maps quickly here. How much? Okay, so you have 200 guilty. That's not impossible. 200 guilty. 12 more damage to everyone. 12 more damage. Late game. Eller Titan nerf coming in. Echo Stomp initial stun duration reduced from 0.8 to 0.2. What the hell does that even mean? That's when you could attack them, right? Yay, you could hit them. Uh, very cool. Very cool nerf. Amber Spirit base them armor increased by one. Omega lol, that's what you're thinking. It's pretty good. Whoa, hold up. Level one untouchable slow halved. Well, Rip and Chantra is offlane. Can you still play her offlane? Like, she was already pretty mediocre. Well, she was kind of a cheese offlane pick. And Chant, hold up. 55 seconds? Yikes. Yikes. Well, what the hell? There's a rip to this hero. And Sean slow 3 seconds now, level 1. It's a big slow. 55 seconds? How do you even play this hero then? And Sean dominate duration rescaled. Oh my god! Stop it! She's already dead! Stop! 50 seconds? So you can't even uh, level 1 retake the creep. Impetus, mana cost. Alright, that's pretty nice. Like 55. 
It's a lot. When you use it five times, that's a lot. Your middle tower use this five times. Attack. It's not that much. It's fine. She got a buff. <laughs> got her flak. Ooh. Ten second flak, boys. Rip his farming speed. It's definitely gonna come a uh, situation where... Hey, I'm Gyra. I'm farming jungle. Oh, my team is fighting. Keeping there. Whoops. I have 8 second cooldown on my flag cannon, boys, because I used it to farm. Homing missile hits to destroy. Reduces 3 on all levels. Alright, uh, seems fair. Pretty big nerf this one. This is not so much. When you have this max, and later on, people are going to hit pretty fast. So it's pretty easy to destroy. Uh, this is a huge nerf. Io, tether now sets your movement speed to match the tether target speed. Hi, Lin, that must be a buff. That must be a buff. Wait, it still gives movement speed bonus, right? But now you can skip boots even. Spirit Breaker Wisp? Oh, hold up. That cannot work. Nice game. Yep. Charges in movement speed all? Yep, that's right. It didn't work. <laughs> this one is capped to 550. What the hell? What the fuck? It's permanent. Hold up. That seems insane. To match the tether target speed. Not liking though. I really relocate cooldown increase. Ooh. 10 seconds. Dude, this spell used to be way shorter. Pretty sure it used to be like level eight or 80 seconds at level 1 or something. Uh, relocate 80 seconds. 40 second cooldown. <laughs> Alright, so the Relocate is his best spell. It's an insanely powerful spell. Uh, very long cooldown now. You don't have to spend mana retethering. Seems pretty good though. Seems pretty good. Movement speed nerfed significantly, level 1. This used to also be way higher. Uh, used to give 20% movement speed, smiley face. And up to 35. Now it's 7. Max level. It's not even the same as level 1, what it used to be. Yeah, when they released Heroes back in the days, they were so broken. It was unbelievable. Yikes. Tether region rescales the scales now, alright. That is a pretty big nerf. Okay, that is a pretty big nerf. All things okay, frog clap. So while this might be kind of good, I don't even think it's that good. If you lane with a bristle back, yeah, you always tether him, but you could already do that. The downside was, what happens if you break it? Like, what if I hold for a long time? Alright, like can I retether instantly if I hold it for a very long time? Yes, you can. That's a pretty big buff actually. But it was nerfed to 1.2 now. Death to all plebeys and rad subs. You could run here. No, no, I got it ready, boys. Your Zoom. middle tower is under attack. It's very common in a, in a fight, laning wise. Your bristle, wisp, or whatever. Your tether to bristle, they go on you, you have to run away. And now you don't have tether, but now you're always tethered to him. They go on you, you have tether again. You re tether to them, very good. This though, very big nerf. IO base damage reduced by four, yikes. That's pretty significant. Whoa, that's some big nerf actually. Let me go over them again. This is a big buff. This is a big nerf. A mediocre buff, kind of good buff. Big nerf, big nerf, big nerf. Four big nerfs. This basically means he never has to buy boots. That's so good. Leshrak. Leshrak needs some love. Five more... 330? Jesus! What if slow and spirit breaker? It's, it copies this guy's movement speed. If this guy is slowed, so is Wisp. And what else have we got? Lightning rescaled. Huge buff. If you ever played this uh, Your tower spell, the level attack. 1 does like no damage. Like no damage. Now, it does some damage. Leshrak, Lightning, Storm, Slow, Duration probably scales scales now. And it's not... Yeah. Yeah. It scales because they buffed it. So it's not very much slow level 1 anymore. Uh, but overall a buff because this is good for CSing and harassing. Sacrifice mana uh, conversion increase. This is very nice. If you ever play Lich, level 1 conversion gives you like no mana. This is a huge buff for Lich, I would say. Nobody play Lich like this, right? And you use the spell, it's like, oh, no, I have no mana. Boom. You get max mana now. Going. Uh, you harass a little bit, and then you do this again. You. 
Hey, look at me, I'm Lich, I'm harassing. I'm harassing. Oh, I don't have any mana. No, you would have gotten like here. If you used it before. You would have gotten like something like this. To the seven. And now if I use it. There's always that like, ah, I want mana. So should I take a melee creep? Because it gives more mana. But you don't want to do that. Because you want to deny the range creep experience. And get it. Now you just always take range creep. This is a very big buff for Lich. Life still open one. Mana cost. 140 on all levels. How much mana issues does he have? mid and late game but even by any mana region items i don't know lion earth spike mana cost whoa hold up no nothing at all on level one great spell to spam to harass now you just spam this the weakness with lion is his laning phase like if you look at lion support mid and late game he's insanely powerful great cc and a huge burst great support hero but his early early laning it's really weak. Now you just spam this one. This batch is very admiral's forehead. To harass out the enemy offlaner. Very big buff. Very big buff. Magnus Cure AoE increased her guardian by well. 10. So no longer S4 missed those skewers. We've all seen him so many times. People skewer. I mean, everyone lulls about it every time. It's really hard. I dream of my world. What if I do it like here? I would have missed it. But with the change, I don't miss it anymore. Very nice. And what else? We've got a reverse polarity sun increased. Oh my god, that's huge. Half a second on level one. It's like half a second is there. There it was. That was half a second. Wait, does she need a buff? Let me think. She is very low. If she gets anything above three, that's a huge buff. 39 to 50. 43 to 48. This is overall a buff. Lower variance, and you will no longer get, get 39 damage. Her laning is slightly better. Monkey King, attack rate improved from 1.4 to 1.3. <sighs> Monkey King is a sad hero. It was such a fun hero to watch. Then it got nerfed to the ground. Then people were like, hey, I'll play it as a four position. And then, then I thought it was like, no, no, you're not. I'm gonna nerf that also to the ground. And now no one plays it anymore. Feels bad, man. Necro. Auto for Aura increase. Let's do the maps here. If someone has late game, 2,000 health, 0.3%. Well, 1% will be 20 per second. It's like six more damage per second. If someone has 20, 20 2,000 health. Very cool. Mana pulls less early and more later. Mirana is a one damage on average buff. Yes, but it's less variant. When you hit a creep, Again? if you get unlucky, you would hit 39 damage, you would have missed it just barely. Now you're less likely to have that happen. So it's a buff in another way you're not thinking. Ogre, multicast no longer increases fire blast mana cost. Good, because that was retarded. Omni Knight, rip, 85 mana. PA buff. Stifling dagger can be target on spell immune. Okay, that's a pretty big buff. Slow doesn't affect him though, understandable. That's pretty big buff. We'll give you more utility. No longer can someone run away with uh, BKB with one health. They will die. No longer can no, uh, they run away with 30% health because you'll still dagger them and you create and kill them. Phoenix Supernova radius increased by 300. Holy shit. That's a huge buff. That's insane. By the naked, I'd say somewhere like this would be the radius. Something like this. Now, it's gonna hit this guy as well, almost. And maybe it was like here. You get this bonus range here. That's insanely good. That's really good. This, this here is super fun to watch. However, Super now now turns night into day for duration. Has highest priority. Counters Night Stalker. Counter like and Howl. We smart. Yes, I am aware Luna has more vision at night. Very big buff. Give him a clap. This will change a lot. I think this hero will be viable now. The problem still remains. Where do you lane this hero? You lane it offlane, it's one of the weakest offlaners. You cannot pressure the enemy safe lane at all. Even if you do a lane. If they leave one on one, like they leave a racer or something, you will get shit on. Phoenix is not a good one on one hero. People did use to run her support. 
but then she got nerfed a lot. If uh, you can get through the laning, this is very big buff. Razor nerf coming through, static link cast range reduced from uh, 50, 50 less cast range, very cool. Ooh, level 1, 60 damage, two big nerfs. Ricky tricks of the trade reworked, instead of hitting every hero in the AoE once per second, it hits a random hero once per 0 0.5, 0 0.4. Alright, hold up, let's think here, this is a huge buff. If you're alone with a hero. If someone is alone, you do significantly more damage. If there's five heroes in there, it's a big nerf. Which, there never is five heroes. If there's two heroes, it's still the same. Unless you get unlucky with R RNG. You could get unlucky and not hit the one you want. We're like level 12. Let's say we're level 12. Expect to see less of me. As for X coming through, he's got blade mill. That's all he has. And he's got some heart as well. Uh, give, give him some health. Attack. How? Very good damage. That's a lot of damage. Also, tricks of the trade will hit creeps if there are no heroes available. Wait, hold, you can use it to farm now? Yes. The cooldown is very short. That is very nice. That's very nice. So I'll be like, yay, I want to farm this. Yeah, I wonder if Battle Fear works. Wait, hold, can you go Battle Fear with this? Oh yeah, boy. Core Riki coming through. Tricks of the trade, duration increased by one second. Pretty nice buffs. His ult was pretty meh, to be fair. Now it's pretty, seems good. Not Pog Champ, it seems good. Rubik nerf coming in, good. Good, then, then Kuroki can't beat my record with one hero. I sprint. Try Echo Saber, wait, that wouldn't work, would it? You perma slow them. And what? Oh my the god! Oh, you're dead. What a they can't move! Oh my god! Help! <laughs> Nova. Nova. Yikes. A That's a pretty me. big buff, boys. Rubik nerf. Uh, pretty big nerf, because you max your W. So this will last for a very long time. You even go... Uh, like, do you ever max Aura before stun? Now that you can switch for damage, do people ever do that? I haven't looked at that, actually. Uh, Sanking nerf coming through. Level 1 stun, significantly worse. Well, not significantly, but still pretty good. Almost 0.3 second less. That's quite a lot. Sanking base movement speed reduced by 5. We've seen so many that we even saw today GH trying to stun someone chasing and he missed it. Well, you're going to miss even more stuns now chasing someone because you're not going to be able to keep catch up to them shadow demon buff demonic push can sl uh, slow now always scales linear with time from 10 percent to 100 percent to zero 20. demonic push cooldown increased from 40 to 60 effects charges with punishment however however shadow demon demonic purge duration increased from five to seven and demonic push no longer roots non-hero units for three seconds you see root non-hero units all right, it's a very long slow. It's a hard counter to BKB now. You're like you don't want to play Nikes against Shadow Demon. Uh, the Mark Perch now continues to dispel the target. Oh my God! So you can no longer uh, wait. How much does that matter? If you're playing with a, against an Abaddon, he shields him. It, it's removed instantly. You will remove instantly. Wait, hold up. That's actually very big. <laughs> That does not get movie friendly. <laughs> nice, Yules. Alright, that's very Yule. Good. Hard counter Yules. Very good. Huge buff. And it's gonna be super good in certain games where they have certain heroes that have certain buffs. It's good against the Spirit Bear. Because then you can battle cry or you can't grab it. Uh, so, so far, cooldown was increased quite a lot, but that's okay. The slow now scales linearly. I'm not sure how it scaled before, but. Slark is back. Oh my god! Base HP region increased. 
We talked about it. The biggest problem with Slark is his laning phase. Uh, it's so hard to do the maps because of the changes. But it's safe to assume he probably had like one region. Like, what does a normal hero have? Uh, you probably have normal region. 1.7. So, I mean, it probably like doubles his region. Turn rate improves, he turns faster. You can't really tell. <laughs> Growing in. Well, let's do stop force stuff because it is a buff, meaning you can't force your allies. Yeah, it works. Kappa. Thank you, Valve. Finally, uh, I like these uh, changes. Ooh, Guardian Speed no longer has 15% damage amp. All right, pretty nice. All right, this is this is already active. So all this is all this is live for DAC tomorrow. Sniper assassinate uh, reduced. Okay. Sniper does have some mana issues later on. That's pretty nice. Nothing significant though. Spectre Pepper Hands. Rip Spectre. Let's see what we got. Almost double her damage on level 1 dagger. Spear Breaker Empowering Haste no longer reduces your movement speed afterwards. That's pretty nice. Uh, and cool increase because of it. That's good. So now you don't have to feel bad if you use it in the middle of a team fight and then. It ends and the team fight continues, and you're like, whoops, I don't get movement speed anymore. T gain movement speed increased by 10? What? That's a pretty big buff. When you touch movement, people like meme, but don't understand, like, if you buff someone's movement speed a bit, or attack damage, or armor, it's actually pretty significant. Armor is the least significant, but giving someone 10 more movement speed is a pretty big deal. And it's plus 10 movement speed on in the guild here, that's right. There's even more. Timber saw shotgun mana cost. He got buffed. It costs less. Not super significant. You can farm neutrals a little bit easier, I guess. No. Can you stop dying? Who's dying all the time? Quickly. Stop dying. Shut up. All right. And shotgun initial cost reduced as well. All right, so this early game where he has mana. You usually don't have a lot of mana issues later on with the hero, obviously, because he got items. But early game we do, and now it's just better. Okay, so last pick, Timber. I've lost to that too many times. Uh, tiny, ooh. Pretty big nerf, pretty big nerf. His laning is way weaker now. And Avalanche cooldown increased for three seconds. All right. He's still uh, a strong hero, but usually, we did used to see him in a care roll a little bit, but then he got nerfed. So generally now, we see him in offlane. Generally. This is where it matters the most as well. Keep in mind that he has zero armor. Tree Int, this here needs some big buffs, honestly. He got it. Int increased by three. Troll World needs some love as well. Berserker Rage, attack time improved slightly. We did see a little bit. I said VP played it, so it's not a, it's not a trash tier hero. I really wish it was an easy way to compare it, but... Like now, you, you read it and you're like, yeah, it doesn't matter that much. It's pretty significant. Reducing the base attack means you attack way faster. This hero attacks very fast now. Prepare for battle. <laughs> Growing in. Hi, Builder. If you would like $4, please says yes, rabbit dog. I would like $4. That doesn't do anything now. What the hell? I get max attacks with only two items? What? Oh my god, you need like no attacks to get the max one. Jesus. Totally, no, I'll have you guys. We'll have this, and then I have like this. And later on, I have a Scotty. You pretty much get max. So compared to the old one, you probably would have 0.29 maybe or something. Which is not super significant, but it's pretty nice. Very nice. Tusk nerf. Oh, dude, this spell. Ice shot. I just talked about this. 10 seconds is way too low. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like 19 at all levels or something. Probably not though, but 21, 12. Level 1 is... Alright. Two more seconds. 
two more, two more seconds on all levels. Alright. Not that big of a nerf, to be honest. Undying. Undying. Zombie. Critical health. Attack speed boost. Increased from 50 to 75. Undying. That's actually pretty nice. What is the threshold? 35%. And it's 35? You can see, it doesn't attack that fast. They don't do that much damage, but wait for it. Here we go. Jesus. They're going ham on him. What is their base attack? It's pretty big. Pretty big. Pretty nice nerf. And Flesh Golem. Hero kill heal increase. Whoa, that is a lot. So whenever... Uh, I don't think many people actually know how this spell works. The closer you are to enemies, the more damage you take. So if they're uh, here, they take 1% more damage. If they're here, they take 20% more damage. Oh, it's 30, but it scales. It's 30% here even. That's why you... This here is pretty good for Roche. Because you just ult and go close to Roche. Also, when any creeps or heroes die, you get life. 25% of your health. It's not uncommon, you have like... You'll have like 2000 health. A hero dies, you get 500 health. Pretty good. Pretty good compared to... 200. Warlock's Golem attack damage increased. Seems fine. They're super powerful early game. A little bit underwhelming later. But now they're actually a threat late game. Very cool. Give that a clap. Windranger, she needs some buff here. I would like that. Fix some clunkiness with a Windranger attacks the target during focus fire. Alright. Is that like a buff or is that just a visual buff? Uh, I assume... I, I don't know what that means. <laughs> no more clunkiness, boys. I'm not getting clunky. Ar Arctic burn attack range increase. Alright. I wouldn't mind seeing this here get some love. Base intelligence increased by one. Zoo's attack range increased. Well, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a lot. 100 or 150? 30. <laughs> okay. Too bad. Too bad. Only 30. If this here had like 500, 600 attack range, that'd be very nice. That would be very nice. And damage. He's pretty weak damage. It's very hard to get CS without uh, using your spell. And it's very hard to get the nice. So if this base damage is anything less than 5, it's not very significant. 5? It's not less than 5, so it's pretty significant. Alright, so I can like see it now. Bye. Normally I wouldn't get it there. Normally I wouldn't get it there. Oh. That's impossible. Peel not getting nerfed, that's kind of Peppa Hands. <laughs> uh, plebs arguing here. Ain't so much better now. Well, he'll just force out. Counting your 3k gold with an item, a 2k gold item, yay! Then you buy Abyssal first, obviously. 2k more coming through. We're gonna rush Abyssal. Hopefully we'll see some more Zeus. Zeus is super fun. I guess we're done for today, then, boys.